Hello everybody and welcome back to my 100% slash... Wow, I just completely fucking brain farted. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Karatek and I run the Facebook page Lavender Town. And welcome back to my 100% guide slash let's play of the game Psychonauts. Death Beta. Now, when I left off, we finished the asylum, finished all the other stuff. I don't know if we can knock this out. And we fought Coach Oleander. We went to that. Well, now we're going to finish the final level. This is going to be a super, super long episode. But it's because I want to show you the end of the game. As you can see, I've got my dream fluffs. Two cobwebs are super easy to get. And you understand why they call it the meat circus in a bit. Now. Okay. The circus I remember from my childhood was definitely not made of meat. The last time I checked. No! No! Little bunny, don't go in there! So, yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I could explain why it's all like this, but I'm not going to. Because it might give a little bit of a spoiler, and I don't want to do that. So, drop down here for extra confusion grenade ammo. Which doesn't really make any sense. Oh god. I fell. Yeah, I should have been more careful. Not important. But yeah, you wanna collect that. Also, here's what I meant. Use this guy to go to the Collective Unconscious. When you go there, enter every single world. And then after you're done here, even just going back to them all since they're all completed, you should get the Achievement World Tour. Or uh, Victory Lap or Victory Tour. Resting your journey has made you much wiser, so why do you still hoard your goods like a miser? They use Avenger who scavenge, scavenge the webs, the cards, and brains just to redeem them is all that remains. And that's this guy talking. And that's how you do it. That way, you, since you can't leave any of these mines, well, that's just awkward. I'm gonna tell you, when it comes to frustration, this level ranks up there with just obscenely difficult. Like I've been playing Sonic All Stars Racer, All Star Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, and that game is hard as hell. So I just basic. Your explanation. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Uh oh. You'd better keep that kid out of trouble. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. And you figure it'd be a lot easier. Now here's the tricky part. Oleander has health. You have to run around and collect all the items in this area, plus keep him alive. I'm gonna guarantee you, you're gonna die once or twice or fail. It's it's bound to happen. So for this, you need telekinesis. You want to have your blast. Um, honestly, what I would recommend, if you really just want to burn through it, is collect the figments first and then try and do it. Just let me get smacked around a bit, because you're going to have to redo this area. You're going to have to. So what you can do is... What the... Oh, cool. I did not... Oh, that's interesting. That's it. If you can get over the fact he says ow, like, every two seconds... I'm, I'm going to do it this way, personally, because every time I've tried to save him and do this, it's just... It's hell on earth. And there's no way to stop them, either. Like, they will continuously spawn as you go up. Is there any reason why I can't click that? Yes, we get it, shut up. You deserve the pain. Get that figment out of the way. And you wanna go up here? 
Hmm, I don't remember this part. I can remember it, but I don't remember. Huh, whatever. Well, it's another reason it's a good thing to come up here. You got those guys right there. You can knock them down for a little bit, which I honestly didn't know. I just kind of dealt with them. You definitely want to knock them down when you're up here, though. Oh, gosh. Right, you want to come down this way, and then when you're down here, come back. So Tim Schafer is evil. Those guys are annoying. Knock them down. Run around over here. And let's take it up here. You're gonna remember that because you're gonna have to use it quite a lot. Here's a wrecking ball comes in handy. Just wreck through it all. Especially if you're low on anything like health or if you haven't gotten up to the infinite upgrade like I have. Plus I'm OCD. I like I like my state clean. Oh goodness. This part's pretty straightforward. Just run across, collect the figments. As you see, he's got quite a bit of health. I mean, he'll he'll last a couple hits. As he goes higher though, he will take more damage because the knife spitter will spit knives at him. You know, he'll spit knives at you, he'll knock you down. I've been at the very top of the level. I've been knocked all the way down. There no, nothing sucks more than getting to the very top of the area and having Oleander up here only to have that little mother knock you off. So you definitely want to never stop. I don't think you can actually walk on that. I'm just kind of doing it to do it. Because I don't think you can actually hit him. I kind of messed that up really bad. I'm gonna come over here first. That's just me. And there are more figments in, in this area, and I don't know if they actually show you properly. Yeah, it's just... It's a collective thing. It doesn't actually show you what's left in this area. Which kind of sucks, because... Yeah. Alright. And there is the last vault of the game. Come here. Come here. No, stop it. You're a bad monkey. Big top. Alrighty, that's pretty dark. Alright, and upon getting that, that will be... I know I probably shouldn't be doing this since this will be a big episode, but that will be the achievement. No more secrets. Alright, let's get back into it and hope the game doesn't freaking freeze on me. It's Mr. Bun! Hello, Mr. Bun! How you doing? Fuck off, knife spitter, thank you. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Oli up here alive. That's just me, though. You're supposed to actually swing over here and... Alright, well, no harm in trying, right? The way you do it is you get Mr. Bun. You have to grab him. He's too big, though. You have to hold him. Like the little bastard can fly, but he can't do it when you know you need him to. And he just goes up a few inches and stays there. Oh, good. His health resets every time. I did not know that. I swear, every time I play this game, it's something new. Jump on her and stop Mr. Bun. First, you know, smack him up a bit and then. Hold Mr. Bun Bun for him. Of course he runs super slow. He can fucking fly, you know. Sorry, I'm not gonna listen to the cutscenes. It's the same thing. Oh, Mr. Bun! He says not to run. It's just the same thing every time. Just launch up here. If you're fast, you can get up there and get him safe. Come on, come on. Spit the damn knife. As you can see, they do a ton of damage later on. Where's the bunny? Stop. Almost missed him. The higher you go, the more enemies will spawn, the more damage they will do. 
boop. And I think this is the last one. Once you're up here, I believe this is the last time you have to protect him. Honestly, any kind of game that has you protecting hostages or saving someone like this is just, oh. Whew. It's just really frustrating, you know? Crap. Get off the kid. Get off the damn kid. Mr. Bun, you stop moving. I did grab the bunny. You will be when I'm done with you. And with that, you're done. Right, that's all you gotta do to defend him. Now get the hell out of here. So you can take that way or you can just jump. I prefer to jump. That's just me, though. I like how he's not phased by any of those. Oh, come on. This is my favorite ride. The tunnel of love. Oh. <laughs> oh, he, he literally just flies away. Like, really, dude? How are you gonna play me like that? Of course, more knife spitters. Just, just a uh, fuck up your day. Stop that. No, oh, you, you can't hit him. Okay, then. Basically, just run. You can't hit him. You can't take damage if you're this high anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. Okay, for your wondering, yes, there are more figments, but they're on the ride. And here will be the last cobweb of the game. All mental cobwebs cleared. Awesome. I'm pretty sure there is a warp at the bottom so we can get our ranks. Could be wrong though. Let's make sure. That's good to me. Now this one is not an easy one. Because you see you have to jump. Luckily it's not too hard. You just press A or space or whatever it is for you. Whatever jump is. You gotta be careful though because some of these you will have to actually jump in the air to collect. As you can see, they are not easy to get. Oh crap. Yep. Yeah. How good are we doing? Okay, 8 to 94. We need 12 more frequencies. Okay, luckily, it pops right here and you can't lose. This is your mind, so you cannot lose any, any anything. Which is actually kind of cool. Like, I didn't even think about that. You can't lose any mental health or anything in here you can use health but like you can't actually lose any layers of mental health you want to try to lean over to the left god why does it never want to do that basically you want to you have to jump off i honestly legitimately do not know how to do this Come on. No, stop it good lord we just keep dying like this one right here literally gives me the most trouble every time Luckily, I've infinite amount of tries. Hopefully, this isn't gonna be too long, so I don't bother you guys. I'm gonna try to actually jump right here. Here's a good way to get it. Oh, and I'm on the oh, and I'm on the rail. Oh, it's a good day. And then I miss another one. Son of a bitch. You know what? Screw it. I was actually gonna try to save it, but alrighty then. Here's what I mean though, like you really gotta be careful. If you're just bolting through it, trying to get to the end of it, you're gonna miss them because you have to jump. You know, those guys being douchebags, you know, you know how it is. The two of my favorite voice actors are in this game too. Tim Curry and Steve Bloom. Like seriously, just top notch actors right there. I love all their work. Jump a little bit early, not too early to fall off, but you wanna jump a little early. But that would advise doing a little slow. Just hold back. This you do need to kind of speed up for just a slight bit, not too much. Careful, careful, careful. And voila. 
hopefully this should be it right here. All right, all figments collected. And with that, we have Figgy Piggy. And then when you collect this bad boy right here, congratulations, highest possible rank achieved. Unlock secret movie, unlocking secret movie in your journal under Thorny Tower Memories. And with that, we get all emotional baggage sorted, primal memories unlocked in journal. And as you can tell, I'm rank 100 right now. As you can see, I don't know where it's, it rank 100, 100, 100. But as you can see, I have a cobweb left. Take this guy right here to the big top entrance. Alright, you want to make sure you do this too, especially before you beat it for the achievement. I think this is an auto-saved area anyway, so you can come back if you don't, but I would prefer to. You just click in a side cars to make another side challenge marker, and luckily, he will also do that for you. Bing. Rank up. And now, as you can see, we are rank 101. And with that, we have achieved all the achievements. Now all that is left is to complete the meat circus. But that gets us. Math is hard. Achieve rank 101. Happy bag. Sort all emotional baggage. No more secrets. Crack all vaults. Figgy pity. Have figgy pity. Figgy piggy. Gather all figments. That is every achievement in the game. All the helmets. Everything is done. You are maxed out. All that's left is to talk to him. And go to the butcher's tent. Boom, 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 boom. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm kind of wondering if I want to... You know what? I was going to make this one super long video. But... I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to tease you. Because the next part is kind of big. Nah, I'm going to make another long one. This is an autosave area. Once you're here, you can't leave. This is another autosave on top of the autosave. Batman. Your dad? The butcher? He says little bunnies are good for nothing. Nothing but food. Here, little bunnies. <coughs> Don't run, or else daddy's gonna kill ya. God, I love Tim Curry. Seriously, he is the greatest villain ever. There is no better. You're seeing this, I bet you're like, holy shit, how am I supposed to do this? Switch to these right here. Levitation, shield, and side blast. That's all you gotta do right there. You want him to do the overhand smash. No matter what you do, he will catch you. Does not matter. You want him to do the overhand smash. That was it, but for some reason it didn't get stuck. That's weird. Don't run, or else daddy's gonna kill ya. Come on, do it. There we go. How about you don't want to shield, you actually want to let him hit. Shield everything else, don't shield that, just keep running from that. Pretty straightforward fight. Like you'd expect to be pretty rough, but it gets worse. Trust me. Why? Cause you confuse grenades. I don't know. Wait, can you confuse him? Oops. Oops. Ow. Oh, you can, huh? Well, I wasn't aware of that, but as you can see, he hit like a truck, so I'm not gonna really worry about it. Yes. Alright, simple fight. He's done. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 